welcome back to the episode 2 of the CRM series. So in our last episode, we learned how we can create new opportunities in our CRM applications. We can also learned how we can add new stage directly from the CRM application pipeline. We also learned how we can easily drag and drop the opportunities. And we also saw how easily we can create and schedule meetings with the customers directly from the opportunity itself. So today, we will learn how we can create new quotations for the customers directly from the opportunity. So for that, let's create a new quotation. This is what looks like a sales form. Here you can add the products, whatever products you want your customer to buy. You can add the optional products as well. You have the other info over here. This is the sales person, the person's name who created the opportunity, the person belonging to the sales team. We have the tags over here that we added. You can also add the customer signature as well. And once that is done, we will go back to our order lines and add the products. So let's say the customer wants acoustic block screens and they also want to buy desks. So let's say they want a desk stand with screen. They want five of these and five of these. So this is the total. We can also add the taxes if we want to. And if we, even if we don't want to, that's fine. So now once that is done, I will save this and confirm. Once confirmed, you can see we have one delivery order tab over here. If we click on the delivery order tab, we can see the transfer order. This is the transfer order number. We have the details over here, the demand, the reserved and the done details. We also have the additional info over here, the shipping policy with the responsible person. You can also add your internal notes like handled with care or fragile products. And once all of this, all of these are done, you can validate the transfer order. So once validated and applied, the demand will be done with the quantities that we have mentioned. Once that is done, let's go back to our sales order. So you can see that we have been done with the delivery. Now let's create an invoice. Here we have three options to create an invoice. We have down payment with percentage, we have down payment with fixed amount, and we have a regular invoice. You can also use the down payment with percentage. You just have to add the percentage over here. If you're using fixed amount, you just have to add the amount over here. Let's create a regular invoice first. Let's create and view the invoice. This is what the invoice will look like. We have the product over here, the quantity, the prices, and the subtotal and other details as well. We have the other info over here, the salesperson and the salesperson belonging to which sales team. We can also add the other accounting details as well. So let's go back to our invoice line and confirm the invoice. Once it is confirmed, we can see a new register payment button over here. If we click on the register payment button, a wizard will pop up where we can add this journal for the amount being paid to, we can add the amount, the date and other details. Once you have added all the details, let's create payment. As soon as it is paid, the new ribbon will appear over here called paid and that indicates that the invoice is paid. You can also directly go to the sales order from the sales order smart button. Here you can see we have two smart buttons now. One is the delivery one and one is the invoices one. And that is how you have created an sales order directly from the opportunity. Do not forget to like and subscribe for our next episode of the CRM series. Until then, thank you.